artifacts from Mars. Trump. GD must oppose Trump even if he wins the nomination. So, what George Will is saying there is that GOP's got to support Hillary. Now, this makes all sorts of sense. Donald Trump's damage to the Republican Party, although already extensive, has barely begun. Republican quizlings will multiply slinking into support of his most anti-conservative presidential aspirant in their party's history. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh, <laughs> Romney was far, far to the left of Trump. Ted Cruz, these collaborations will render themselves ineligible to participate in the party's reconstruction. Ted Cruz's announcement of his preferred running mate has enhanced the nomination process by giving voters pertinent information. They already know that the most important thing about Trump's choice, his running mate will be unqualified for high office because he or she will think Trump is qualified. What on earth does that mean? Hillary Clinton's optimal running mate might be Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio, a pro-labor populist whose selection will, would be balm for the bruised feelings of Bernie Sanders' legions. Running mates rarely matter as electrical, electoral factors. In 2000, Al Gore got 43.2% of the North Carolina vote. In 2004, John Kerry trying to improve upon Gore's total there ran with North Carolina Senator John Edwards, but received 43.6%. If, however, Brown were to deliver Ohio for Clinton, Republican path of 270 electoral votes will be narrower than needle's eye. And it goes on and on. It says Trump will be the most unpopular nominee. Unable even to come close to Mitt Romney's insufficient support among women and minorities and young people. That is BS. And losing disastrously, Trump probably will create a down ballot carnage sufficient to end even Republican control of the House. So, let me get this straight. What do you want to do about it, Mr. Will? Uh, excuse me, it looks like Trump's going to wrap this up. Unless uh, Ted Cruz is able to steal it at contested convention. Uh, Mr. Will, sir, uh, Donald Trump is going to be a nom nominee. And if you're going against him, then you're going for Hillary. And then you have the unmitigated gall. And I don't like Gaul to say that because you're standing up for Hillary, you're standing up for conservative values. You're out of your mind. I mean, if you're saying let's elect Hillary because it supports Hil conservative values, you, sir, are insane. You've just proven that you're insane. We don't need any more proof than that. Now, it talks about a bunch of statistics. I don't care about that. If Trump is nominated, Trump, Republicans working to purge him and his manner from public life will reap the considerable satisfaction of preserving the, the identity of their 162-year-old party while working to see that they forgo only four years of the enjoyment of executive power. So George Will is a Hillary supporter, by definition. 
What have I said? I said that the Republican Party is going to try to elect Hillary if Trump gets in there. He'd probably do it if it was Cruz, too, but uh, definitely if Trump gets in there, I said they're going to try to elect Hillary. They are Hillary supporters. They like the old guard. They like keep the same people, the same old oligarchs in power all the time. They don't like the idea of the oligarchs being tossed out of power. Neither does George Will. So, there you have it. As far as I'm concerned, George Will's a liberal. He's on Newsmax, too. I'm a little surprised. There you go, Georgie boy. I called you a liberal. What are you going to do about it? You're a liberal. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.